Star Wars only, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. We have a director attached to the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. This is a report from StarWars.com. They say that Deborah Chow has been tapped to direct the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series that is exclusively on Disney+, Plus, where Ewan McGregor will be reprising his role as Obi-Wan Kenobi for the series, which takes place eight years after the events of Revenge of the Sith. Here's what Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy had to say about the matter. She said, We really wanted to select a director who was able to explore both the quiet determination and rich mystique of Obi-Wan in a way that folds seamlessly into the Star Wars saga. Based on her phenomenal work in developing our characters in The Mandalorian, I'm absolutely confident Deborah is the right director to tell this story. When they announced the Kenobi series at D23, they also said that the scripts had already been written, which I think is a good sign because that means production problems won't likely happen if you have any creative differences with your writers or directors this far ahead of time if you have the scripts written. And the writer of the series is Hossein Amini. He wrote The Alienist and Drive, and I don't know anything about his work, uh, sadly, but tell me if you've heard of him and tell me what you think about his work. They also say that Ewan McGregor is going to be an executive producer alongside Kathleen Kennedy in this project, which I think is also good news. That means that Ewan has a little bit of a, some say in the matter of how this show goes. And it looks like the show is basically ready to begin production. I do have an inside source that did tell me that next year in London, the third live-action Star Wars show will begin production. But we don't know if it's the Kenobi show or if it's something different, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be this one with the writer attached to it now, and you also have a director helming the project. My only question now is, will Deborah Chow be directing every single episode for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series? Because The Hollywood Reporter is saying that she's only directing a few of the episodes and not all of them, but StarWars.com is saying that she's been tapped to direct it and that she will helm the upcoming live-action series. So maybe she is directing all of it. I don't know. I think this is very interesting news, considering that she has directed some of the episodes for The Mandalorian. That's going to be the first place we get to see how she's done with the Star Wars franchise and what she can do with the Star Wars franchise alongside someone like Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau. Now we get to see what she can do alongside Ewan McGregor. Having him star in reprise's role as Obi-Wan Kenobi is something that we the fans have been asking for for a very long time. And this show is basically a fan service show because remember, Stephen Daldry was supposed to be directing the Obi-Wan Kenobi spinoff film, but after the flop that Solo had in the box office, it looks like Lucasfilm pulled all the spinoff projects in the works and are turning them into these new Star Wars shows on Disney+. Plus. And now we know a lot about the Kenobi show. We know that Deborah Chow is directing, Hossein Amini is the writer for the show, Kathleen Kennedy, Ewan McGregor are executive producers alongside some other producers as well. A lot of projects going on in Star Wars, and this seems to be the one that is going to please the fans the most. This is something we've been asking for for a very long time. Stephen Daldry was supposed to direct the original one, but now it's Deborah Chow, and she's actually getting a show to do it instead of just a spinoff film. I'm down for it. I think this is a good sign. I think the future of Star Wars just got brighter just because we're having a Kenobi show that is clearly a fan service. I'm pretty excited to see where this can go. We don't have any confirmation on when the show will be released. I'm pretty confident it's likely going to be released in 2021 because like my inside source said that they are doing production for this third live action Star Wars show in London next year. This has got to be it. This has got to be the one they begin production on unless there's another live action show we don't know about. Pretty confident this will be it, and if it begins production next year, it's probably going to be released in 2021. This is all good news, in my opinion. This is a good sign. Tell me your thoughts below, though. What do you think about Deborah Chow helming the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and Ewan McGregor executive producing it as well? I'm Star Wars Only. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time, and may the Force be with you, always.